And that guys is the beautiful station of Milan. So now my train is at 11 going back to Rome because I need to see the Vatican, I need to see Colosseum and a lot more. Contemporary. Wow, that's the toilet the other day. The air dryer and me. <laughs> oh, this is the shower area. Oh, okay. Alright, that's nice. And this is the closet. And yeah, it's still raining. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna eat in the Filipino restaurant. And that's me waiting for the rain to stop until I go to Vatican or just maybe change my itinerary. From Termini to Ottaviano. This street here is Via Ottaviano and this is the way going to Vatican. If someone told you or someone asked you to go other way because that way is Vatican, that's a scam. Um, you'll get to get your attention and they will ask you to hire them as your tour guide and it's crazy I am basically walking from Rome to Vatican and this guys is Vatican oh my gulai it is so beautiful So this guys is the Basilica and this one is a people house and whenever he holds a mass here um, that window here, the second to the right is where he would stay and show himself and proceed with the mass. This way is going to the cupola or the dome where you can have a panoramic view of the whole of Vatican. And this is the ticket going to Copilla San Pietro. This is the best way to go into the Vatican. To save you from long lines and from multiple lines um, is to go to Copilla, Copilla San Pietro first, which is this dome here. And then after he will exit into the Basilica and you won't need to get into another line. Like closer, and this is what it looks like farther. And this is the door going to the cupola. Narrower. I have 165 remaining steps there. This is a lot narrower, and that is just a preview. So I think this is the steepest. Can you see that? That is the shape of a real key. So as you exit the dome, you will enter here in the Basilica. Amazing. able to catch the mass and have my communion inside the basilica. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I am beyond ecstatic to have the communion inside the basilica. It's unbelievable. It's, it means the world to me. <laughs>
I think this is the best place to do a 360. This is just beautiful. This is the iconic fountain in front of the, uh, the church here in Piazza Navona. This is so beautiful and everyone seems very romantic that they're making out here. <laughs> I don't know, it's too early for that. This is a legit espresso in here. So we're currently here in Spanish Steps. We're going up to see the church. Oh my god! Oh, it's so beautiful! It's so nice. We're now headed to Kitchen Pasta Luau. She's very good because she's our tour guide today. She always tells us where to go and where to eat. Let's eat the fresh pasta. Yeah. This full square here is called Piazza de España. And the only reason why this is called Spanish Steps is because it's located in the Spanish square. And that one there, if you can see the flag of Spain, that one is their embassy. So so this is the Colosseum. As you can see, it's Piazza del Colosseo. It's starting to light up, look! I know, it's so huge! It's humongous! <laughs> hey now! Hey now! <laughs> that is the Ark of Constantine. Buonasera, sono Michelle. Come stai? Mozzarella di bufala.